Thursday, July 6. Welcome to Safira Radio News Service. We invite you to listen to Christian news from Poland and around the world. Rolando Alvarez, the apostolic administrator of Esteli in Nicaragua, was released from prison late Monday evening, according to diplomatic sources cited by Reuters. It should be recalled that the bishop was sentenced to 26 years in prison for criticizing the government of Nicaragua. Hannah Jalouf, a Syrian Franciscan from the custody of the Holy Land, has been appointed by the Pope as the new Latin Bishop of Aleppo. Father Jalouf has served as a priest in the Syrian Orient Valley for many years. Archbishop Job, representing the delegation of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, stated in Rome that the Christian nation should not promote the neutralization of other nations. He emphasized that Jesus was unfamiliar with concepts such as race or nation. In the pursuit of unity, we should not be prisoners of our own history. In the Netherlands, ceremonies commemorating the abolition of slavery have begun. Dutch churches of various denominations are organizing events and services under the theme of shared past, shared future. King Willem Alexander apologized for the Netherlands' involvement in the slave trade, and the churches expressed repentance. The need for actions against racism and the promotion of freedom-based awareness was emphasized. During a two-day evangelistic event led by Pastor Greg Laurie, nearly 7,000 people professed their faith. The Harvest Crusade took place at the Honda Center in California and attracted over 30,000 attendees. Additionally, it garnered an online audience of 200,000 viewers. Laurie described the event as the best Harvest Crusade in history. Poland. The conservation work on the organs of Niezno Cathedral has begun. The organs were donated to the Basilica in 1975 by the Episcopal Conference of Austria and Germany. The conservation process is expected to last at least a year, with intermittent breaks. Oasis retreats in the Radom Diocese are attracting nearly 700 children and young people. The team of animators, including nuns, priests, and alumni, consists of over 130 individuals. 13 summer sessions have been planned. Last year, the number of individuals seeking shelter in European Union countries reached a record level of approximately 5 million. Among them, nearly 1 million apply for asylum in EU member states. There were also applications in Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. Additionally, there are over 4 million war refugees from Ukraine as of February. This information is reported by the European Asylum Agency in Valletta. Three brothers, Renato Puda, Marco Puda, and Robert Puda, were ordained on the same day in Croatia. Robert was ordained as a deacon, while Renato and Marco were ordained as priests for the Archdiocese of Split Makarska and the Franciscan Province of the Holy Redeemer, respectively. They are like the three musketeers who will fight for the salvation of souls. In the next great adventure of little cars, Malik, over a hundred participants will cover 4,000 kilometers in eight days. They will travel from Bielsko Bila to Monte Carlo. The main goal of the rally is to raise awareness about road safety and collect one million Polish sloty to support children injured in car accidents. This is Safira Radio. Thank you for being with us. May God bless you.